Hello, welcome to Headblender Design. Today, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to create animated GIF from my design in Corel Draw. Okay, so I have this flyer I did for the SOAR conference 2023, and uh, in 25 days, they're going to be the event is going to start. So. Without any further ado, let me show you how I made this GIF. So here is the design I made in Corel Draw. Okay. So now I just duplicate this into four places to create that different uh, shades for the 25. Okay. So for this, I have a gradient applied to it 25%. And this other one has a 50% gradient why this has a 70% gradient. So I just export all of this as PDF, as a PNG, export it as PNG. So here I have that of the 25, uh, the first one to the fourth image. Now I load my Photoshop. So to bring in these files into Photoshop and make uh, the animation, animated GIF, click on file menu, you go to script and load file into start. So from this load layer that appears, you can use these files either in folder or in files. So we we'll use from files and you browse to the location of the exported PNGs. Okay, so here we are. I just select, uh, hold shift, select image one to four. So I can sort them by the name. So you see they just come one to three in the serial numbers. Click OK. So this loads into Photoshop. Let's give it a few minutes. Uh, just going to load the four images. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any question, Drop it in the comment section below and I'll be there to attend to it. So our image is downloading in Photoshop. So when you open your Photoshop by default, you have this timeline. The timeline is not here by default. You just need to call it up. So to do that from your window menu, you have timeline. So if I uncheck, you see it goes up. This is how yours is actually going to be by the time you load it for the first time so you go to windows and check timeline this will come up so you create you you select to create frames create create frame animation so you click on create frame animation so you bring in this from this menu this hamburger menu here you choose make frames from layer make frames from layers okay so you see we have the layers have been arranged one after the other from the lowest uh, level of transparency to the highest so we have the play button here so if i play this you see how that works so nicely all right so i can stop this now now i want you to actually you can determine how many seconds each frame is going to last. So you can choose by this default ones or you can insert your. So I want to use 0 0.35 seconds for each of those frames. So I just quickly enter that 0 0.35 second for each of the frame, 0 0.35 second. So for the last frame, I would like it actually to stay a bit longer than the other one. So I'll use 0 0.5 second. Okay. So when you play this now, see well how we have this beautiful transition. Okay. All right, so what next do you need to do after this? You have to export your file. 
into a PNG. So you go to File Menu, click on Export, Save for Web. The shortcut for that is Alternate Shift plus Control plus S. So you save for Web. This loads up. Uh, you can zoom in or zoom out, so you see the whole of your image. All right. So make sure that this here is showing GIF, and that will be all. So you just click on save. So let's use uh, 25 days. 25 days. to saw conference 25 days to saw conference click on save and this is it so if i go to my system so this is where i save the file i just open this and you see how this loads beautifully very well so if you have any question Drop it in the comment section below. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Give this video a thumbs up. Like and share so that others would benefit from this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye for now.